But then, like, and then you, it, you, you having sex with the 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 women, you know, somebody feeling is gonna change. Mm. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you know, you like, you you really their boyfriend. <laughs> you know. He is the owner of D. Henderson Plumbing, a father and the founder of Smoke Free Media. Brave Hearts community, let's show some love to Dwayne Henderson, a.k.a. Black Paco. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Man, I'm good this morning. Busy, but you know, this is what I do. For sure. Yeah, man. Yeah. This topic on are you really ready for a relationship, man? We had a chance to talk the other day and I was formulating these questions and I'm just thinking, man, I can't wait to talk to this brother because uh, <laughs> we, I'm a little probably, probably a little older than you. But, you know, what I'm saying I think for our age range, I think this is really going to help a lot of people because I'm realizing I have a lot of followers that's in our age group. For sure. Yeah, man. So let's jump into this topic because I don't want to waste your time. Is anyone ever really ready for a relationship? Um, I think if if two if the two people that's involved are, are serious, I had a right attitude about it. I think it's is definitely is definitely workable, mm. you know. But if one is off and the others on. Ain't, ain't, it, it, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> ain't that ain't that something? How powerful a relationship is that it it really takes the two. That if one person is off, it throws everything off. For sure, man, that's powerful because um, I tell people a lot of times with my wife and I when we were dating, one thing that we did. I mean, we had a lot of things in common, but at the end of the day, we both wanted to. Well, I wanted to remarry. She wanted to marry. Got you. Yeah. How 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 soon did y'all? Well, y'all got married <laughs> very fast, but how soon did y'all start having those questions? with those, uh, not not questions, but uh, conversations? Were were, were they early? Um, like how early? Probably about after a honestly, probably about a month. A month. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's just because. I'm, I mean, like, this is what I do. I mean, even when, I, even when I'm dating, you know, I'm, I'm always asking questions. I'm, I'm a podcaster at heart. I'm a YouTuber by heart. So no, no, for sure. I'm always asking these type of questions, man. And I just like to see where, where her mind was because at, at 40, I really didn't have time for games. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if she didn't want to marry, that that was cool too. But then she wouldn't have been someone I was looking for, and that's why I'm answering this question because you said if one person is off, then it's just not really going to it's not going to work. For sure, yeah, for sure, yeah, man. So I think that's an important question. You know, hey, do you desire marriage or not? Or you know, and then that way you know how you want to operate. Some people might just want to you know, I just want to do me, and that's cool. But if that's for not sure. what you're looking for, you know, respect that. No, what if, what if a person desire uh, marriage, um, and and they know that person is the is is a good candidate for marriage, but you know someone not really ready, or the person that's kind of hesitant is, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think you. It's something that that can't be forced. I just think no. e either you have it or you don't. Or if there's a certain amount of trepidation that comes with that, where they like, because for for instance, I've been through a divorce, so there was a little fear in that. That you know, scared to remarry, right? But I think if you if you're honest enough to to be upfront with that person, like I desire marriage, but I've been hurt before, and you know, you're such a great person, I'm scared that the other shoe might drop, and it will. But some people, you know, if you're upfront about that, I think it can help the other person who desire marriage to how they should operate. So then it's like, am I willing to maybe wait for a little while because I really like this person? Uh, and not to try to persuade them or anything, but I really see 
us having a future together like we have more things in common than not and kind of let it develop from there if you have the patience gotcha so what do you think um i was asking i just wanted your opinion mm. you know um because i know this is what you do um but i i totally agree i think i i think the other person shouldn't I think they, if that's what they really want and the other person isn't ready, like, I don't know how much time the other person, I mean, who knows how much time the other person should wait on the other person. And then that's the, that's where you can go down a slippery slope, you know, you know, so. Yeah, because you can be with somebody for three or four years and then, but you kind of waiting around, <laughs> you know. For sure, for sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so that's why you say the slippery slope because every day you thinking they might come to you like, yeah, I'm ready to get married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So how do you feel about dating multiple women while dating? Is it worth it or is it time consuming? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you keep it a bug, man. man. This, this is what we do. No, no, I'm, I'm about to. All right, so I, I just a little background. So, are, are you? Are we just dating, or is it any like sex involved, or um, um, it's it's sex involved because nine times out of ten, you know, for sure, it might happen. I, I, I think I think that's dangerous, mm. and I and I also. You know, multiple multiple women. I think that's very expensive. You know, so and, and it all depends on how old a person is and how much money they got. I mean, I like <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like, it's certain things. I think as a, as a man, when you get older, you should kind of outgrow. Like, mm. you know what I mean. Mm. And that's just one of them things. You know, it's like. Once you get, like you said, about 40, mm -hmm. you know, you should be like, you should start like saying to yourself, like, hey, you need to chill out. You need to, you know, settle down, get out, get out these streets, you know. But nowadays, you know, you got women and men playing to they 50, you know what I mean? So, and, and having fun doing it. So if that's what they want to do, then, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, I don't advise that at, at our age to be dating multiple women, mm -hmm. you, know? Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, because every, everybody's different, you know, but I do think, like you said, it's it's expensive. I like that you said that. Oh, for sure. Because I'm, if you entertain entertaining two women, you know what I'm saying? For sure. But then like, and then you, it, you, you have a sex with the, the, the women, you know, somebody feeling is going to change. Mm. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you know, you like, you you really their boyfriend, <laughs> you know? Whether the dude, like, if, if the dude never changed his mind or not, like, you still, that, that person are getting their feelings if they seen you or no matter how honest you are. Mm. You know, no matter what you tell them, no matter what you like, hey, like, you know, this is not what I want, da da da, da. Somebody's feelings is gonna get hurt. Mm. Dang, that's good, man. Let's 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 stay here for a second because okay. I think this is something because I hear from a lot of women, and this is just what they tell me when they when they in my DMs and they like I'm in a situation ship and all this other stuff. They like, I just want the man to keep it a buck with me. I want him to keep it 100 with me. And I'm thinking, did he really tell you that he didn't want a relationship? Or is this something that you kind of forcing on him? Because y'all are sleeping together. It's kind of like this. It's this thing where y'all already made this agreement, but y'all didn't verbally say it. For sure. You know? I I think women have a natural ability to uh, apply that guilt on on. <laughs> <laughs> they they go automatically make you feel bad, even, even for telling the truth. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? They be like, "Yo, like, I know you said this and said that, but that's not." And they're almost like bully. Mm. 
<laughs> so they just basically Debo you in a relationship. For sure. <laughs> but here, here, let me play devil's advocate with this. Because, and, and man, it would have been cool if we would have had a woman in the room. But, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot of comments on this one. So just be prepared. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, when I post this on social media, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just be prepared because I'm going to tag you. Uh, there's, because a lot of women today, they kind of want to be like men where they say that, you know, I could, I could sleep with you and not think about you twice. Mm. So do they really bully men into relationships? Because I, to me, I think a lot, I think when women have that kind of attitude, I think that comes from a place of hurt where they tried to love somebody and he got what he wanted from her and she left because sometimes I hear women like, I can I can be like a man too. And I'm like, but don't become who hurt you. For sure. And, and that's what they do. So have you, you know, ever come I, across those type of women? Yeah, I've dealt with a wildebeest a, a time or two. <laughs> a wildebeest. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. It is like I I totally agree with you. It is some women that really think that they can be that way. Now they can, mm -hmm. but it's short lived. Mm. The like a woman's uh, emotional makeup at one point they will start to to care. Mm -hmm. I and and they and it, that stuff. If they deal with you, they got to get in and get out. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean like you can't have that type of attitude and then you start spending the night at the dude house that's gonna change mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you you know what I'm saying and, and, and that go both ways too though like you know because of a dude if you you spend the night at her house you know the minute that stuff started to happen you know somebody feels end up changing yep and it's it's normally the women, because most, the average, a lot of dudes, I ain't gonna say most, of course. a lot of dudes can be that player for, for years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. But women just not built like that. I agree. Because uh, some of these wilder beasts, as you would call them, <laughs> I gotta use that term, man. I get... <laughs> man, it's, they rough, man. They rough, man. <laughs> I got some stories, man, but we ain't gonna go there. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna record it because they <laughs> might hear it and be like, that Negro called me a wildebeest. I didn't know all of that. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Yeah, because I think when women are younger, I think they're, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, wildebeest, you know, and even maybe in their 30s. I, I think maybe by today's standards, shoot, maybe in their early 40s is when they realize they wanna they want to settle down sure you know so man what is the most difficult thing about dating after divorce mm, i can i can speak my personal opinion I, I would say um trust in a person like in mm. and uh not just trust but making sure um, that this person is going had the best intentions, intentions not just for themselves but for the overall picture. Um, because a lot of times um, with women, they only see the the glitz and glamour, mm -hmm. you know, of of the actual wedding. The wedding and marriage is two different things. Great. You know, marriage is. You know, we had an escalate, but he got laid off. You know, you know, we had to downsize because he he lost his job. You know, um, is he still that knight and shining armor in your eyes? Mm. Is he still your your prince, your king, your everything? Mm -hmm. When he can't buy that bag. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. hey, you got a way to, you know, hey, you know, we we not gonna we not gonna go out of town. You know, we gonna we gonna sacrifice 
and we gonna put this money to the side for that new deck in the backyard. Mm-hmm. You know, what is she able to take direction? Mm-hmm. Is she able to even she can have her own money. She can have her own everything. She, matter of fact, her stuff is more together than yours. Mm-hmm. Can she can she listen though? Can she like still like even if you do lose your job? Oh, you ain't bringing them them. You ain't bringing in them bands now. So I ain't gotta respect you. That's what I'm scared of. Ooh, that's loaded. So do you think respect and money ties together to a man as far as the way a woman's going to treat him? Is is it based on is the respect based on a dollar amount? Uh, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I really do. I, I, I do think that. Expound. Now, uh, no. <laughs> Nowadays. OK. You know, I ain't talking about grandma now. Yeah, you know, that, that was married 50, 60 years. We know granddad had a family on the other side of town, but you know, hey, they were still rocking and rolling. We yep. talking about nine days women, what I've been dealing with, not every last person. We not gonna do that, but you need to be doing something in order for them to kind of even, you can't even hold their attention. Mm. Is that is that in is that in dating or is that in relationships to hold their I say, attention? I would say both. Mm. Like if you like you know they they automatically going you know some women automatically look at you like you know if you don't drive a certain type of vehicle, you know um, if you don't take them to certain type of restaurants or you know yeah for sure. It's mm-hmm. a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's based on your your, and I won't even say dollar amount, but just I guess your consistency of cash flow. I guess I would say for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, and and when we had these conversations, you know, women automatically think that we're talking about you're supposed to deal with someone that that's broke or it can't hold you down. That's not. I don't know. It just seemed like. It's almost like cookie cutter nowadays. Mm-hmm. Is that a, is that a younger demographic or is that a, a or is that our nah, artist? bro? Nah, <laughs> nah. I, I'm gonna I'm give you the demographic. It's from I would say forty five to thirty five. Now, like about listen, thirty five. They they probably waste a lot of time if they got kids. Probably a lot of time with their kids' father. Mm. Now the kids is, they almost like they had uh, young adults or t- so that like they, they doing a, um, a lot of ripping and running the basketball games and stuff like that. So now they, they like, I need a break. <laughs> like, you gonna like, watch so my you kids? Got, yeah, <laughs> you got you got them, and then the kids get older. They graduate high school. Now you what? Young, if you had your kids a little younger, you 43, 44 years old. Kids are young teen, young adults. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, now I can be free. Mm-hmm. So now they acting like they 25 or 30, like, you know, mm-hmm. you know, they still, they still, they, 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 they got their fountain of youth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they had a child earlier, right. yeah. And so they adapt that same type of immature attitude that I can still, or I need to be still doing, doing me. Mm-hmm. And that's a, that's a big part of relationships too, is just maturity. Mm-hmm. You know. So, so do you think some of that comes with uh, with social media? Like, I gotta create some highlights, you know. Um, us turning up or whatever you know is that is that social media based do you think for sure and women in their 40s yeah for sure that's good you know what I, that's true 
I, I, that's true to yeah. a degree. I will, yeah, because I'll you, get on. You never seen them auntie, them auntie posts? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never seen them auntie? <laughs> oh my god! Every, everybody, everybody, everybody bad. You, you don't, you don't see no women. You know, like by actually like grinding and put everybody look good. Like man, you just rolled out the bed like that. I woke up like this. <laughs> I woke up like that. Are you lying? You ain't wake up like that. You Every, took 60. Everybody... Go ahead. <laughs> she, t- she took 60 selfies talking about she woke up like this. You lie. For sure. Yeah, you lie like a rug. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I no, nah, I hear you. And and that can be that can become um exhausting within itself because like you say everybody's bad everybody's a baddie remember when we were growing up i guess i'm telling my age i guess i'm kind of you know uh sidestepping a little bit but when we grew up you had a certain you 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 went into certain areas you went to church you went to school you went to the playground you know just these certain areas and i guess i'm telling my age but you knew who the pretty girls were and you know who the, who wasn't the pretty girls for sure and you was restricted to that area for sure but, but now you know what was up no right no, real quick sound but like since you go in there it's like it was only like a handful you had like Halle Berry yep you had um Felicia Rashad <laughs> you know <laughs> like you you see like Tim like Pam <laughs> Greer you know what I mean like you see uh, uh like now it's a million of them. And <laughs> oh my god! Instagram and baddies them, for sure. And all of them, you a fool of you if you if you drop me. You know, I'm I'm the prize. Like everybody, the prize, bro. Like <laughs> don't don't fumble me. You ever fumbled a good woman? Oh my god! Damn, that's the day and age yeah. we live in, man. For sure, man. Damn. For sure. So kudos to you for for being out here, man, and trying to maintain with all these uh, baddies out here because you got a, a plethora to choose from. Um, for sure. And I know that's got to be tough within itself. And, and this is somewhat controversial because sometimes when I say this, people look at me sideways. <clears throat> I tell people, I settled. And I say there's nothing wrong with settling. People think settling is a bad thing. And I always tell people my wife had 80% of everything that I was looking for. Because when I was out here dating, you know, of course, you got a plethora of baddies to choose from. But I'm like, who works for for Sean Heineman though? And and nobody is perfect. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to snatch you up off the market. I'm I'm not about to try to snatch you and then try to chase the 90%. You know what I'm saying? And lose who I got at home trying to chase 90. For sure. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, I'm good. Because again, we have a plethora of baddies to choose from. And I only can imagine how many women got guys in their DMs. You know what I'm saying? I only can imagine. For sure. You know, but that's another topic. Uh, You've been through a divorce. And as a man, how did you recover mentally and emotionally? You know, I, I don't, I don't really think I really start. I, all right, so I'm gonna give you a time frame. So I got divorced in 2009. Oh, okay. And I don't think I really start healing from it probably until about a, a year or two ago. Okay. And. You know, we had these, as men, we had these, uh, these, uh, I mean, you can call it toxic or uh, ways of dealing with hurt. And it normally consists of dealing with other people, Mm -hmm. you know, so I I went through that type of lifestyle for, for years, you know, where, you know, I didn't really care who I hurt because I was hurting, mm. you know? Um, so, yeah, I like it, it, took, it took a long time, but you know, it seemed like women, 
whether they heal from it or not, they can move on a lot faster than the men. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it I I it took a, it took a long time for me to not even get over that person, just the actual the time wasting, the the hurt that came along with it, you know, and trying to reinvest that into somebody else's. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, leave, it definitely leave a, a bitterness inside of you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. I agree. Because 09, that's what, like 13 years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think when you say women heal faster, I think women might be a little more in tune with their feelings than we are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think. And then they have a community, too. You know, they have a community of girlfriends. Um, I don't know if you had anybody, any men in your corner helping you through the process. But what they you know, you, you know the answer. <laughs> you know what they were saying. Hey, what they're telling you? Chase the wildebeest? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, all the wrong advice, man. Hey, man. She, hey, don't let her spit a night. She gonna yeah. catch feelings, you know. Yeah. All the, <laughs> yeah. all the stuff we just talked about, like yo, man, don't, don't, don't let her get too close, man. Yeah. Like you know, <laughs> yep. give her the Heisman. <laughs> yep, yep, for sure. Man, why, why are men like that? Why are we like that, man? Because I, you know, when I was going through my divorce, man, I had one of my homeboys. He was like, man, get out here, get to meet some of these women. And all this other stuff. And I get where he was coming from. And I've had I've had so many opportunities, man. Once my coworkers found out that, <laughs> that I was getting a divorce, they was like, So what you doing after work? I was like, damn. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But in my situation, I just I had a, you know, my daughter, I was just like, uh, I just didn't want her to see me playing musical matches with a bunch of different women. And then she, you know, looking at me like, you know, but for sure. <clears throat> teachers, <clears throat> teachers on. I mean, I've I've encountered a couple of wilder beasts. I just passed the opportunity, and <laughs> I was like, I don't want you to pop up pregnant. Lord knows, you know. Oh, for sure. The, the life I live, man. God got me on a short leash. I can't get away with nothing. So, no, for sure. Yeah, man. Um, that's something else I was about to ask you. But a lot of women say there aren't any good men, and we know that's not true. Because that's that's a common thread we hear a lot. But what are some things women can do if they desire marriage? From a man's vantage point, what do you think is hindering most women from from not getting the man that they want? Um, I think I think accountability, and I, I think um, I think you should. I think women should be what they asking for. Expound, please. you know, if. If if they don't if 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 they don't want their man to be flirtatious, they shouldn't be flirtatious either. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know what that saying is. You know, be the person that you mm-hmm. <clears throat> that you want to see. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. And so I think that works in relationships as well. You know, if if. I think it's a it's about attitude adjustment, you know. Because some some women you can't tell them nothing, you know, and they like, well, I, they so used to being ahead of their ship, mm-hmm. especially if they got children or they just a single woman, you know. Like, I, they get their own bread, they they make their own decisions. So, a lot of times that that bump that's gonna bump heads with the other with the with the husband mm-hmm. with the potential husband mm-hmm. you know because he mm-hmm. like hey no I, I got something new for us this this for we building we're gonna build something new for us mm-hmm. and a lot of times you know you know women got to be willing to adjust to that mm-hmm. you know and i and i i use these type of words because certain words you know women don't like mm-hmm. So if you say you're not submissive or you say you're not 
you know so i say adjustments <laughs> i like that like you know you know what i mean like hey no, like no we we all got stuff we can you got to be willing to do that you got to be willing to work on yourself you got to be willing to work on yourself for the strength and for the well-being of the relationship and i say start there and then you'll start uh you'll start reeling in more mature men that's ready for a real relationship. Mm -hmm. I like that. You know, with that boss, that is this my this my place and that a whole type of attitude. Yeah. A lot of times that bring in someone that's looking for a mom. Mm. Mm. You know, and so that's why you kind of get get those guys that you know, I, I got a job. Always, I got a job interview. You know, <laughs> like, like <laughs> I got a job interview on Tuesday. No, and it's hey, I'm not, I'm not talking job. <laughs> you know, everybody got somebody in their family. Hey, I got a, of course. <laughs> got, no, that's real. I got a job interview. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, real. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you will start once you start changing yourself, then the men that start coming around looking at you and treating you differently as well. Mm. So you think some of those women are looking for um, projects or mama's boys? I think it's a lot of women that's cool with, you know, a homie coming through just to, you know, handle business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know, they got two jobs or they working. It's a lot of women. It's like if that's all I'm gonna get, I'm a I'm a just do that, mm. Mm. you know. And because a lot of times, if you want someone, you know that that's got something going on for their stuff, that's gonna take some some a lot of self reflection and work. That a lot of times women are like, nah, I'm trying to get get these bills and take this trip in August and and take care of the kids. They got to go to. A lot of times they don't have time to even, or even want to take the time to examine themselves. Mm. Mm. So, Dang. so they kind of, they just want to be who they are, pick their little man, you know, grab them by the <laughs> collar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Grab them by the collar and just kind of keep it moving. For sure. Man, that's yeah. deep. Ooh, I can't wait to put this show out, boy. It's going to be some. It's gonna be some time. <laughs> but I will say that I do believe that great great marriages aren't found, they're built. And I think a lot of people look for a relationship to be found. They just want to uh, uh, they just want to find that person and keep it moving. But it don't work like that, man. Through through therapy, like we had to unearth a whole bunch of personal issues. You know what I'm saying? And even in our personal lives and, and just being an example, because, you know, even with my wife, she had some issues with submission and stuff like that. But what helped us was and even some accountability. Right. But what helped us was I had to be the example first. Mm, true. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, Paco, some people, they don't know what love look like. They might be fine. She might have a little waist, big hips. She got TNA, she got it all. But mm. she not she not submissive because she's so cold, she's just used to getting her way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So she might not know what real love look like. Mm. Only if you're willing to take that investment. And that's why I think it's important to have somebody who's uh, some emotional maturity because mm. my wife was able to look at, and I'm not saying we're perfect because Lord knows we got issues, but she was able to see some things through therapy, through us having conversations, just like, oh, so that's what grace looks like because my husband was being more of the sacrificial lamb. Oh, mm. okay. I don't have to flip out on every situation because my husband didn't flip out when I did something crazy. So I had to be that example. Does it suck? Of course. But if you're with somebody who you always have to be, why well, I always got to be the mature one? You're probably with the wrong person. So, 
True. <laughs> know what I'm saying? True. Yep. Yeah, man. This has been, man, an amazing show. I got three interviews lined up today. Uh, tell us a little bit about your business. Tell us a little bit about Smoke Free Media, man, because I love it. I had a chance for us to connect in Houston. Um, we got to connect on two different levels. I mean, on two different times. So uh, I love it, sure. man, being able to connect with other creators. But tell us a little bit about the business and, and Smoke Free. Um, <clears throat> Well, Henderson Plumbing, uh, I've been a plumber uh, like 22 years. I've been in business since 2009. Um, I always worked, you know, I was in a union and about about five years ago, I said, hey, I'm gonna take my destiny and into my own hands and it, it's been beneficial. It's, it's been a blessing, so. And I'm here in Cleveland, Ohio and- 216, um, stand up. 216, right, you know what I mean? So- Cleveland um, boys. Serving all surrounding areas as well suburbs and west side east side you know um smoke free media um it all started with uh me i quit smoking cigarettes has been going on five years now and um and it just i just wanted to have a party and it started moving to different cities and it's been you know people fly in from all over the country you was there you seen it you know what That's i mean different. and um and, and I, I think the the smoke represents change. You know, like, what are you free of? You know, it could be, hey, I, I'm a faithful married man now. So you you smoke free, mm. you know. The the ability to, to change, to change, mm. and to make yourself a better person, you know. And I think that's what a lot of people come out and celebrate. Mm. And so I do do podcasting, mm -hmm. but I'm sort of like uh, when I got something to say yeah. or if I have someone dope like yourself on the show, like, you know, I, I want I want people to hear this. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the sacrifice that you you and your wife had to make in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. You know, I think these are the conversations we should be having nowadays instead of always into celebrities business or you know our community is like the most community that always got to look down on, on our on, and look down on each other mm -hmm. and like someone falling off or someone losing their house or like that's like entertainment for people and it's just like i i, I watch people like that too like man like Man, anybody can go through hard times, you know. So I I like to step my my topics on my podcast normally is about uh what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. You know, or my my trade, you know. And I, I, I in those lanes I'm always safe. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't got to worry about nobody like, "Oh, you wrong" <laughs> or you shouldn't have said that about her. Like, nah, I just, I stay talking about what I know the most. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah, Smoke Free Media, that's pretty much Smoke Free, Smoke Free Media, Smoke Free Weekend, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so. And, and, uh, and also, uh, and how can they find you online? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram uh, at uh, B-O-K-P-A-C-O, Black Paco or um, at a Smoke Free Media too, where I kind of is getting more and more into the creative side uh, with the reels and everything. Um, so trying to have some fun with that page. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah, Brave Hearts community, make sure you go follow Paco. Yeah, I love the, uh, the IG reels when you're going into different little houses or whatever, different spots. Like that's, that's, that's fire, man. Um, sure. I love and, and that, and that stemmed from a conversation that you encouraged me with in the uh, last time I seen you. So I appreciate you for that too, man. Yeah. You know, get credit when credit's due, you know? Yeah. Hey, that's what's up, man. Well, I just want to take a couple of seconds to, to acknowledge you, man, for your uh, transparency, um, for stepping out in faith uh, to start your own business. Cause some people not willing to take that chance. 
Uh, and I just want to acknowledge you for continue to go forth with smoke free media, man. I know that's a whole process within itself uh, that allows other aspiring entrepreneurs and podcasters and creatives to connect, man. So I just want to acknowledge you for those things as well. Uh, and just being low key and chill, like you don't you don't get into you're not messy, none of that stuff, man. You everything is genuine. Every time I see you, everything is genuine. And I'm like, man, we need more people like that. So uh, I want to acknowledge you for those things, man. So for sure. And that, that came from from growth, too, though. Like, you know, hey, man, like you can have a, a past. You can have a way that you used to be, but you you don't have to be that way forever. You know what I mean? And that's what I keep on trying to tell people, like. You wake up, you have the ability to change. You know? For sure. Man, that's what's up. That's the way you end the show, man. You have the ability to change every morning you wake yeah, up. For sure. Thanks, Sean, man. I appreciate you, man. This was fun. <laughs> hey, man. No, for sure, man. I appreciate it. If you've been with Wilder Beast, you can find you a wife the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> you can't change. <laughs> Brave Arts community, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share this video with a friend. It'll also be available on podcasts. If you don't have time to watch the video, you can always listen and subscribe on Spotify, on all the uh, Apple podcasts, all those streaming platforms. Uh, leave a rating and review. We'd love to hear from you.